I thought I would uh, read you guys a story that I wrote today. Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> this is about a horse. This is a story about a horse. An eerie silence protruded through the cheap black and white filter layered over the scene with Windows Movie Maker as Horse stared blankly out the window, taking in the sun that allowed him to live. Suddenly, the silence was at last broken as a knock on the door signaled a visitor. Horse beckoned the visitor in with his mind, the door slowly opening as Constable Crunch Buttsteak entered the room, a flask of his world-famous Buttsteak brand ale in his hand. Horse turned his head and looked in discontent, for ale would not nurture him. "'I'm sorry, horse. It is not time for your daily watering yet,' Crunch reassured. "'It has only been a few hours since the last one.' Horse knocked his desk over in a steaming rage of ten thousand suns that, have, that could have powered ten cities for eight hundred years. "'Oh, and one other thing,' Crunch said as he placed a file on Horse's now utterly annihilated desk. Horse neighed in excitement. "'A friend asked me to look back into this cold case. It's about a man that was murdered a few years back. Never caught the killer.' Horse now had a clear objective. He reared up and crushed the window behind him into several million pieces, scattering across the world with such forces to nearly leave the atmosphere, then be pulled back into a prism blocking the sun out, and fo focusing its entire energy into a beam that destroyed New Jersey. Millions were killed. Horse knew that Woden would be pleased. Horse's psychic sense of crime scene scrutiny suddenly sought the stench of someone's Somalian sandwich. Such smells certainly had to be of a culprit. Horse followed it to an abandoned factory, much like ones you'd see in Gotham, which I always wondered about. There were just so many of those abandoned factories in Gotham. The only logical conclusion is that there's a factory whose sole purpose is to manufacture abandoned factories. Ironically, it is also probably abandoned. Upon entry, the door closed behind a horse, and a quiet once again creeped over the earth, much like how Herman Cain attempts to grasp the election. A sudden crack of a bullet flying through the air pierced the environment, nearly hitting a horse through his heart, if not for a sudden deus ex machina situation in which Crunch Buttsteak appeared just in time to guard him from the bullet, which harmlessly ricocheted off his chest. Getting yourself into trouble as usual, horse, Crunch Buttsteak said as he puffed on his pipe prudently while probably painting himself a new fence at home because it was beginning to dull in color, or color if you're British, and the wife was bothering him about it. The assassin announced himself after the failed shot and challenged Horse to fisticuffs, which Horse replied by tearing the assassin's small intestine out through his left eye and beating him to death with it, with his mind. Horse immediately got back on the trail of the killer, Crunch Buttsteak following closely behind. Horse stopped at a large, old door covered in phalluses drawn most likely by schoolchildren, and proceeded to kick it down with his front hooves, sending the door through the back end of the building and out the atmosphere, where it destroyed Jupiter. They gazed upon the culprit of the crime. It was Red Herring. Horse furiously crushed Red Herring under his hoof, sending a tremor that caused Pompeii to be once again covered in the ash of a volcano. Surely this was a sign from Woden, Horse thought, and he would surely be victorious in his next battle. The End